Tiggs, when you look at this season and what everyone as a group was able to accomplish, you must go into the off season as a group feeling you've done a lot. There's a bright future ahead, no? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think uh, we did, we took a big step forward as a group. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I think, you know, when you look at it last year, or if you compare last year to this year, uh, it's yeah, it's two different worlds. And uh, I think we can be proud what we achieved. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, we didn't reach the ultimate goal, but, uh, you know, I think we're, we're on a good way. You kind of have to look at this as a young group developing. You take those steps, right? So last year was last year. This, you make the second round. Is that kind of the mental side that you have to look at? I think because, you know, I think uh, a lot of, or a lot of guys in here, did, they haven't played playoffs yet. And, uh, you know, it was the first time this year. And, you know, like they, you know, they smelled the playoff blood. And, uh, um, yeah, I think it was just the first step. And I think, uh, you know, next goal or the goal for next year is, is to go further than uh, this year. And, uh and so on, so on, and I think, uh, yeah, so we're we're on a good path, and uh, yeah, I'm proud of what we achieved this year. Yeah. Jonas, what went through your mind at the end of the game the other day, um, and how are you do- doing after that? Yeah, I was uh, sad to end the game like this. Um, you know, I wasn't really, uh, yeah, I wasn't happy. Um, but you know, at the end, it's a, it's a game. Uh, it's a it's a game of mistakes, and uh, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It was very evident this season that you guys knew how to play uh, solid defense and um, just be able to have some solid contributions from yourself or maybe John Marino and also Luke Hughes came into the mix. Uh, how proud of you are of, of this overall defensive effort that you guys showcased? I, I think we can be pretty proud. You know, I think. Uh, yeah, I said if you compare uh, last season to this year, uh, it's it's totally different. And I think as a as a decor, we you know we we did a or we made a big jump as well. Uh, you know, we established ourselves uh, as one of the top decors in in this league. And uh, so yeah, I think uh, overall uh, pretty good uh, year for us. What did you make of uh, Luke Hughes' time, short time here? What did I think of it? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a great player, you know. Uh, I mean, he showed it in all all his game. He he played for us, and uh, you know he's still young. Uh, he he's gonna learn uh, each game, and uh, but you know he's he's uh, yeah he's skilled. He skates really well, and uh, his hockey IQ is is pretty high too. And uh, you know I think uh, future is bright for him. Do you think you guys set a good foundation to have long term success this deep into the year, year after year now? Yeah, I think you know we we have everything we need in this room, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, about us to go out there and uh, and do it. You signed a, a long extension last season. Um, what's your message to guys like Timo and 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 Bradder, uh, You know, in terms of just building something here and, and wanting to resign here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I want to stay here because uh, I feel like we. Yeah, we have a bright future here. Uh, I think you know, soon um, something is gonna happen big in here, and uh, I believe in it. Uh, that's why I signed long term here. Uh, I hope uh, Timo and uh, Bradder believe that too, and uh, you know, uh, I hope they're gonna be here uh, long term as well. Six, are you headed to Worlds? Are you gonna go compete for Switzerland? Yes, I'm going. Yeah. What are some of the goals that you have for yourself personally come next year? Because obviously uh, you you were one of the foundations for the defensive core uh, this past year for the Devils. Uh, you know, my goal is probably the same goal as this year. Uh, you know, I just want to work as a, as, as, as a whole decor. I want to work together and, uh, you know, if we, if we all six have success or if the whole team has success, uh, you know, I'm happy, happy with it, and uh, um, yeah, I just uh, try to do my job uh, wherever I can, and uh, yeah, happy to if the team is successful. You mentioned, you know, a tough way, you know, for the playoffs end with the penalty and, and overtime like that. But, but did you lean on your teammates there? I mean, what did some of the you know your teammates say to you after that? 
Uh, you know, basically they they were like, yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, I know it sucks, but uh, as I said, uh, it's a it's a game of mistakes. Uh, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but you know, I can't change it. Is Nico a guy who would come and say something to you after that, and just you know, because it seems like he's really good at kind of controlling the temperature of the room? Yeah, I mean, we we talked about it, uh, you know, about the whole situation, and uh, you know, he uh, gave me pretty good words. And what's his leadership meant to the group this year? You know, finding success as, as a really you know mostly young young core. Uh, you know, he's he's been unbelievable. Uh, you know, he's still young. He. I think there's still a potential for him to grow, and uh, but you know he's he's uh, he's doing so much for this team. Uh, he holds everybody together, and uh, yeah, I think uh, he's he's the per- perfect fit in here uh, to be captain. And uh, as I said, uh, he he can still grow, and uh, yeah, I think he's going to be a tremendous uh, leader, or he is already.